Hello everyone, Jopke here and today I am working in my magazine again. Um, did one page, this one, and um, I find it very nice to work in this uh, homemade journal. So I will do so again. I've glued uh, two pages together to make them a bit thicker and this one I already gessoed and um, not doing uh, any challenge today um, uh, just feel like I, I've watched a, a couple of videos on YouTube and I'm just inspired and um, will try some things and hopefully it will come to a nice page, page. so um, yeah let's see what happens and of course this isn't a homemade journal. I don't know why I said that. It's uh, a magazine I'm working in, uh, of which I glued some pages together to make the pages a bit thicker. And uh, on this page, I already put down a, a layer of gesso and I cleaned a few stamps on it. And now I am gluing down some uh, book text uh, pieces uh, and also some um, pieces of paper that came out of a puzzle book, a crossword puzzle book. And I'm gluing everything down with uh, a Mod Podge and my spatula. And once that is dry, I'm using some quick release dye paper I just recently bought. I was told that could uh, work very well as tissue paper, but it doesn't because there's a kind of a wax layer uh, on the back and uh, it wouldn't stick to my page. It is transparent, so my book text pieces came uh, through this uh, um, patent paper and that was okay but it didn't stick to my page so I find a solution for that later on but um, here I am still trying to put the paper down um, using a white acrylic paint to give my um, page a wash really so first adding some paint with a brush cover it all and then using a baby wipe to uh, get most of it uh, back off really and that is to tone down uh, the background really and give it a kind of white wash and you see the paper came loose uh, before I fix that I'm giving it another wash and this time I'm um, mixing a black and a white acrylic paint to make a kind of grayish color uh, doing the same really as I did with the white acrylic paint uh, try to give it a wash so I covered the whole page with this uh, gray paint and then use a baby wipe to get most of it off again and um, well, I need a few baby wipes because um, I need a clean one to get the paint off. And here you see the tissue paper. It's kind of moving. Uh, you, you can see it because it, it almost totally came loose. Uh, two shades of blue acrylic spray paint that I made myself. Um, and I'm spraying... Uh, both sprays onto the background uh, to give it a bit of color trying to maneuver a bit with the heat tool um, to uh, make it run on my page and then I decided to take out my sewing machine and uh, sew around the edges of my page because of that quick release paper almost came off of my page um, I, I did want it on, uh, I did want it there so I decided to just stitch it and that worked so I have a nice messy uh, stitch line around my page and this 
uh, image of some beautiful boots and shoes in a kind of blue suede shoes. I could have named my page blue suede shoes. Hmm, didn't think of that. Um, came out of a magazine and I glued it down with a Mod Podge and I use a Faber-Castell artist pit pen for some shadowing. Um, here I am realizing that it's kind of a monotone page, kind of all in one color tone. I didn't like that too much uh, and I have to be honest that this page isn't my favorite one, but um, it was okay. So, and here the battle of the white gel pen pens begins again. Uh, I use a Signo, I use a Posca, and I, I managed to damage uh, my image. Um, and eventually, uh, the cheapest pen I had, a gel pen that came from Action, uh, that cost me about one euro, I guess, uh, worked the best, and all the other expensive pens didn't. So, and I did put some um, medium on there to uh, make those pens uh, work. Um, here I am outlining with a white Faber-Castell artist pit pen uh, to try and make these uh, shoes and boots uh, stand out a bit more. Uh, didn't like all that monotone color and here I am um, inking the edges with a uh, archival ink and that is a turquoise kind of color um, just trying to mix in a bit more color than just uh, that blue and these are some stickers from Tim Holtz with um, some phrases on it and I choose um, what did I choose I choose Wonder, Journey and Explore and the text I wrote with the white gel pen is about walking and wandering in a certain direction and blah blah kind of thing. Outlining these uh, phrases with the Faber-Castell pit pen again and to bring back that teal kind of turquoise Coise color, I do a bit of splatter with a dilutions ink in white and um, and um, a turquoise. And then adding the date and my signature and this page is done. As I said, it's not really my favorite, but it will do. It's kind of okay. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and hope to see you again very soon. Bye-bye.